Hi, Aaron. Uh, Hicks has only taken three at bats in the postseason. Uh, can you talk about a little bit what went into the decision of having him hit in third today? Um, well, he started the other day um, and had a at bat in the in game two. So I think he's had maybe five or six now. I I've just liked what I've seen. I uh, feel like it's very um, Aaron Hicks type of bats as far as controlling the strike zone and. Um, you know, his normal discipline um, and, and just like him up in that spot as a, as a, you know, guy that can potentially get on base a bunch and, and create traffic there at the top of the order. Um, and with, with having, again, three lefties in there tonight, um, just trying to keep the proper spacing as far as uh, space in our lefties and righties. Far right in the back? Uh, yeah, Stanton was – testing out his leg uh, earlier today what did he tell you mm -hmm. and with him not being in the lineup what does that mean going forward um <clears throat> today I feel like he was better um and, and probably for the first time like saw some improvement today so you know whether he's running at 60 percent or whatever um you know don't feel like he's ready to be an option in the field for us I think there's a possibility of that kind of DH role now um so, you know, it was a little bit of a decision for me. He certainly wants to be in there. Um, but I thought today overall was encouraging as far as taking a little bit of a step forward and do feel like he's more of an option now. And, and again, he's, he's an option off the bench for us, certainly as a hitter. Meredith, in the front row on the right. Aaron, you've been very aggressive with your bullpen so far this postseason. Does the way you manage it change at all, knowing that you could potentially be playing four straight games? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I think I've said we, you know, we've got to get some, some certainly some innings out of our starters, and and, and feel like we have that capability with with Massa and and certainly Paxton tomorrow. Um, so hopefully they'll they'll be able to. Um, you know, give us some quality innings and, and set a good tone for us. But, um, you know, that said, we're going to do all we can to, to win and, and, and our bullpen is still going to play a big role in that and, and feel like all those guys are ready uh, ready and, and loaded to go. Andy, down here on the left. You have a number of guys in your lineup that didn't get to play a lot in September because of injuries. Are you seeing, do you think, in the postseason, the challenge for some of those guys of, trying to hit against some of the best pitching in baseball when you were not playing? You know what? I I feel like – so you're asking about rust a little bit, I guess. Yeah, timing and whatever – why ever guys – Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like that's so much an issue. Um, um, you know, we played six games now in the postseason. We've had, you know, four really good offensive games and two where, you know – in the Verlander and Cole starts where, you know, we struggle to score runs, although had a fair amount of opportunity. So, you know, this time of year, it's going to be more difficult, especially when you're up against an opponent that can pitch like the Astros. But um, I feel like our guys are in a pretty good, pretty good place and don't feel like rust is playing a huge role, uh, you know, and us being held down a little bit the last two games. Stay down here on the left. Aaron, a couple of the Astros players mentioned to us, they're, they're, everything they do takes on a different feel when Altuve is producing. Do you notice that in the opposing dugout, and, and what makes him so tough to, to deal with in the postseason? <clears throat> I mean, he's a, you know, kind of an MVP candidate caliber player, that's, and they have a few of those guys. Um, so, you know, they're, they're – top of the order is a load and you know that you have to make quality pitches um you know if you're going to have a chance to hold them down and and jose is one of those guys that's can certainly change the game um you know with his bat to ball skills but also um his power that that's a factor if you make a mistake as we saw um in game three so he's somebody that you, you've obviously got to pitch carefully too and pitch smartly too and certainly be aware of. And first row on the right, Barry. Hey, Aaron. Uh, Paxton was in here and he he said that looking at video, whatever you guys did, uh, he felt that wasn't tipping pitches in his first outing. What's the process of that and what do you guys look for to see if he was or he wasn't? 
it, it's just part of something we do all season long. And, you know, we're confident that, you know, we're buttoned up and in a lot of ways, and I'm not really, I, I really don't think it's much of an issue. Okay. Right behind there, John, on the right. Aaron, when you say that Giancarlo is an option on the bench, are there situations that you already have in mind where that would come into play? Because obviously to use him in the field, you, you, it's a two-person chain right. at that point. Yeah, there's a couple scenarios where I could envision him, um, you know, playing a role. Absolutely. Um, yeah. <laughs> in the front right here, uh, Bruce. Aaron, this is the first time that you're trailing in a series in the postseason. How do you expect your ball club to respond? Well, um, we got a uh, we got a tough group, uh, <clears throat> a, a focused group, um, and a group that I feel like all all season long, whatever we've been going through in the course of the year, has has been really good at rolling with whatever happened previously and coming in as new day with that right kind of edge and focus and hunger. It's what I've loved about this team all year. And, and we get a chance to, uh, hopefully answer that again tonight. In the middle there on the left, Brad. Aaron, I know you've been getting asked the last couple of days, a lot about, Tipping and signals and whatnot, um, and you've, your responses have been it's part of the game. You guys stay on top of it. Are there boundaries to uh, how that kind of information is shared when teams pick up on that kind of thing? There, there, sure. There's, there's boundaries. You know, yeah. I mean, I think there's boundary. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I, we could have a conversation for days on that. So. Yeah, there's boundaries. There's things you're not allowed to do and things that are perfectly within the context of the of the game. So, yeah. On the right in the middle. When you say Stanton may be available going forward in the at the H and not the outfield, uh, is it because there's some quick stops and different types of turns in the outfield? Because you'd have to run both. Why could he hit and not play outfield? Um well, I think I think outfield is still potentially in play moving forward. Not yet. I would not feel great about throwing him out there yet in the outfield, and especially here in a big left field. You know, when we get to Houston, you know, temperature control, obviously a smaller left field, that may change a little bit. Um, but I think you're talking about a defensive position where you've got to be able to move and make plays, whereas, you know, offensively, you know, you're banking more on the bat and the quality of the at bat and and the ability to kind of hopefully run in a controlled manner, and and you know what that's going to look like. Whereas in the outfield, you got to go catch a ball or you got to make a play, and and you're going to be limited. And that's, I think, a little bit different. Okay, take one more here on the right in the middle. With all that anticipation going into this series through three games, has it played out pretty much as you expected, or is anything? surprise you from what you've seen so far from either team I mean I was hoping we'd be up at this point <laughs> um but yeah I think it's been you know we you know we had a really good first game where we took control obviously a back a little bit of a back and forth kind of pitchers battle um extra innings in game two and then they got an early lead and were able to hold on to it in game three so I think we all anticipate this being a a tough series um that could kind of go either way and um you know so far they've got the upper hand that hopefully we can we can even things up tonight but yeah i guess so thanks aaron all right